Hey guys, it's me, Panto6, and uh, this is a new episode of Let's Talk, and I got a lot of news, tons of news actually, and I kind of want to get it off my chest right now because um, it's both good and bad, and I feel as if you guys need to know about it. I kind of touched on it a little bit last week um, whenever I talked about uh, trust and whatnot, but um, um, last week, if you guys noticed, I didn't have, well, actually, all this week, I haven't had any new content um, except for today's Loot Crate, and that was due to the fact I, me and my fiance Nikki was um, in Illinois, uh, we stopped um, in a little town called Martinsville with her family. Now, her and I have been talking about this for quite some time, and I've brought it up a few times um, on my channel, and um, we're actually going to be moving. Um, we made a decision, we're packing up, um, and we're going to be making the move hopefully by the end of the month or first part of November. Uh, now this town only has 1,100 people, uh, very small. So for the first few, maybe about a month um, into November, you guys are going to see very little of me in terms of new content, um, and that's just going to be due to the fact that I'll be readjusting, um, playing, you know, getting everything turned on, getting moved in, uh, as well as um, uh, getting a new job. So that's something new. Now, the reason why we um, decided to go ahead and do this now is just due to the fact that we've, um, we've had, we hit a uh, little bit of a wall, a little bit of hard times financially, um, and this has to do a lot with what I talked about last week with um, you know, the roommates, uh, the money issue, um, and it's really bad, actually, to the fact that um, they are not going to help us uh, pay their part. They ex and I had to sell my bass guitar and my amplifier yesterday, which was really sad for me because I love that thing. I had that thing for four years. Um, it was actually something that was sentimental to me. And I had to sell this so I um, could have the money to... Um, pay some of the bills, because her and I had to fork over everything we had in order to make sure um, we had a home, and it's not that we was going to get kicked out, um, my aunt, she owns a place, but it's not, it does not look good, and I have always, her and I have always been good at, you know, keeping the bills, um, paid and you know it just really, really struck a nerve with me the fact that um these people did not care one one fucking bit that you know I had to sacrifice um a few things in order to make this work and they didn't care and um we had a discussion about this yesterday um when we asked for the money and they basically said they didn't have it after they promised for three weekends in a row that they would have this money. Now, I know it kind of sounds bad talking about these people without them knowing, but this is something I've told to their faces. And if you're watching this, you know exactly why. So I'm not going to give you any any names or anything, but if you are the if you are my roommate and you're currently watching this. So be it. This is how I fucking feel, and I've already told you this. And I am not uh, about to lose everything that uh, Nikki and I have worked our asses off for, um, get thrown away because some people were very incompetent. Um, now, like I said before, with trust, um, people will use things against you, make you feel bad. In this case... They have a little girl who's about two, three years old, and it breaks my fucking heart that this little girl is not going to have a home to go to because we have to leave because of them, 
and they forced our hand. You know, I'm not kicking these people out. We gave them ample time till the end of the month or so to find something. We told them that we have bills as due, an electric bill, um, <laughs> water bill, gas bill, you name it. These things are all due. And I can't pay them on my own. And my fiance can't pay them on her own. You know? But whenever I get my paycheck, guess what? I have to pay all of that. So is my fiance. We have to pay all of that. Because it's all in our name. And it doesn't seem like they give two shits about that. And it's sad. It's really sad because, you know, we wasn't planning on moving until, you know, later on after we got married. But, you know, things happen that kind of force your hand to do things for the better. Now, to kind of get away from that, I just want to say... I love all the support, all the everything, but um, if you guys so much as just view my video, hit like or leave a comment, I, ho I wholly appreciate you guys. I want to share my life with you guys the best I can. I want to give my opinion on things the best I can, and hopefully I can make a difference. I want to share my story that that way if you're going through the same thing I am going through you can kind of go with, through it with me we can all work together you know you and I can talk whoever and I'd be f perfectly fine with it the only bad thing about it is I don't know what's going to happen to some of the video content um, and I have the store life with the Goblin Traders. Now, I love these guys. They have become a family to me. Um, Bryce, Randy, Brian, Gary, Tom, uh, Lovins, fucking Chad, everybody. Everybody there. I'm sorry if I did not name everybody, but you are all included. And Mike... I love you guys. I, I love you guys to death. And I hope that store life can continue. And that's what I'm going to do. In the next few weeks, I am here in Ohio. I'm going to do my best to get as much content as I can. I like to have at least one episode of the Goblin Traders. A way of passing the torch to somebody else who can do it. Because I would love to see it. I, these people deserve everything, um, all the success they can get. And if you guys get a chance, check them out, please. Um, now, my friends and family I have here, um, you know, I love every single one of you guys. Every single one of you guys. And I'm not leaving you guys behind. I still want to stay in contact with you guys. Um, because my heart is still in Ohio. Believe it or not. I have built my life in Ohio for almost the last 30 years. I'm 28 now, so it's not quite 30, but you get the picture. It's almost 30. But I've built my life. I've built relationships. Had so many things awesome and so many bad things just happened. But I'm going to be starting a new adventure. Me and my fiance is going to try something new. Hopefully something awesome comes out of it. And I'm going to come back um, every once in a while to check everything out. Uh, that way, because I, I, I want to visit. I want to stay in touch with you guys. Because I just don't want to lose, lose everybody. I know it sounds cheesy. It sounds incredibly cheesy. But it's true. I, I, I don't know what I would do with the people I, you know, everything I've built here. And it just sucks that it has to happen so early. Which I, you know, I'm excited. But I'm scared as well. I'm sorry I'm testing out this selfie stick thingy. It's my tripod for vlogs. My uh, good friend John bought it for me. So 
it's uh it works there'll be more on that but um you'll notice some shaking <laughs> but I, I I just don't want to I, I just don't want you guys watching to think that things are going to be over here it's going to be a time it's going to be slow for here for a little while now um you guys may not hear from me um but I'm going to try my best to you know, as soon as I get um, internet up and running, I am going to try to get as much content as possible. Um, as soon as I get more, get money flowing in, once the job gets started, I'm going to try to get more gameplay, um, you know, more Let's Talk, you name it. I want to do all that stuff for you guys, because I love you all. But um, I just got one more thing to say. Um, I have, um, I feel really bad about this. I, I, I've been following Boogie2988 for forever. I've been watching him since, you know, he was a small guy on YouTube. And I kind of feel really terrible because I asked for his uh, advice on his subreddit. I feel really terrible for asking him. And it's, um, I don't know. I can't explain it. I feel like me going through a hard time, I, I, I feel like I am being really, um, disrespectful, I, I guess, because I don't need to shove my, um, hard times in other people's lives, especially you, Boogie, you've been through all this shit, and I do apologize, man, I, if you do get a chance to watch this, um, I apologize wholeheartedly, um, and hopefully, um, you know, you don't have to go through any hard, hard times or anything like that, because it's, it really does, it's, it sucks, it's terrible, um, and I just can't, I can't do it anymore, um, and I feel really bad, so, Boogie, if you do get to watch this, um, I am so sorry for pestering you if I did, um, and I'm sorry for any time, I, I, I haven't, I just hope I didn't overstep my bounds by asking, um, for your help, because I just look up to you, and I just, I, I followed you for so long, and... I don't know, man. I am so sorry. I really am. I really, really am. Whew. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> kind of... It's really hard. It's really, it's really fucking hard. I, I just feel like there's nothing I can do to make things better nothing at all I feel as if um, I'm letting some people down right now just because I'm leaving I'm so sorry I'm driving right now so it's kind of bleh shaky cam shaky cam's a shaky cam but guys I, I promise you there will be more content um, everybody goes through hard times in their lives. Uh, just don't let it swallow you. I'm doing my best. Um, my fiance, she's doing her best. And we're just trying to stay, uh, stay, um, hopeful for the future. Because hopefully the future's bright. We have an exciting opportunity um, there's jobs coming our way. Um, the place we're moving to is beautiful. It's quiet, peaceful. Um, I think it will alleviate a lot of stress. And hopefully with this new life that I'm getting ready to start, 
it gives me more opportunities. But guys, until then, I highly appreciate everything um, anybody has ever said. All the follows, all the likes. Um, Boogie, thank you so much for being an inspiration. Uh, guys over to Bug Goblin Traders, thanks so much for being my family. All my friends, thank you so much for being a part of my life. You guys will always be there. Um, this is going to be the last Let's Talk, at least for now, at least until after the moving process is done and we're caught up. But until then, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Um, if you're going through a hard time, feel free to message me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. I'll do my best to get back with you guys as soon as I can. Um, and enjoy the gaming season. Oh my god, there's plenty of games coming out to play. Um, there's just something for everybody. It's a good time to be a gamer. Just be careful. The, I hear that uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate's full of uh, microtransactions. So be careful of that. Don't fall into the Ubi trap. But guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for the support. Um, and like I said, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Um, the more likes and stuff I get, it definitely is going to give me a push. Um, and Boogie, if you see this, I, 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 I can't stress enough. Thank you so much for getting me to do this because I, you know, I would not have started this if it wasn't for you. I've been watching you forever and I know it sounds like a man crush, but I, I'm just telling you, like I, I, you know, message you all the time. Something, I know you're a busy guy, but, um, thank you so much for inspiring a lot of people. I know you get a lot of hate and it's unfair what you do, but I love you, man. Um, maybe I'll see you in Illinois or right or something. Uh, maybe one of these days our paths will cross. Um, but, um, take it easy. Hey guys, again, love you so much, so much and goodbye.